There is a lot of news in the crypto market. You're watching a lot of hype entering the market. But what really is happening in the market? Yes, Bitcoin is up slightly. But what are you watching? It went up and closed for the day. But Ether is the biggest winner here. We're watching that the market is showing you a lot of signs. But this one especially doesn't look really great. Other than that, you go through the market one by one. You're watching each and everything. And one thing is clear. If you find it really hard to make exceptional wealth in next two to three months in this crypto market, then it's going to be really hard for you to be in any other spot. Especially when we are watching this, it kind of gives you something. Mm. Okay, things are increasingly becoming bullish in all different forms. You're getting all these giants entering the crypto market for one reason, and you're watching this. Ether is blowing through. Remember, before that blow came in, we talked about this. I gave you an audio message detailing what I'm looking at, and I was saying this. It's positive signs, and different groups, everyone kind of got that because it's an important update with that audio message in the alerts. And not just that, yesterday, before the bump started, before it all started, we followed this up. Now, this is like a month back where I was, okay, guys, watch this. It's breaking higher. It's retesting. It's bouncing. This is what we want. So the structure was explained way before it actually formed. And a lot of people understood that the market is about to do something great. And you're watching a lot of assets starting to turn bullish. Yes, it's the Bitcoin ETF approved, but you're going to watch a lot of altcoins taking off. Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10% of this world. Right now, if you look at these, remember, we had this discussion a couple of months back when the price was still here. Now, Ether is close to like 2,600, 2,700. It's trying to push higher. What exactly is happening, right? But at the same time, if you do look at XRP, we had this call. We're like, yeah, it's a short-term move. It's going to take some time. But the RSI was showing you we are already breaking higher. Now, we did that. We bounced off. We kind of reached that territory. If we do get another breakout here, that's super optimistic for XRP. To put in a new local high here and to go test the high which we made back in July, that's optimistic, right? Now, we all understand that it's not just these assets which are performing. We're watching this. Remember, when it was still like, you know, $12, $13, I actually told you guys, watch this. Now it's 100% up from that level. We had patience. You are riding through these stuff. Now, if you enter the market here and you're looking through all these news and narrative, this is really, really, really big. The underlying asset, say XRP in our case, got screwed by the SEC because of their prejudice. Now things are coming out and it's actually increasingly becoming much, much, much better. So the traditional rules, regulations, it's actually slowly going against the SEC. The wind is turning against them. But this is where I double down on my opinion that this bull market is all you have. To make money in crypto. After that, if they are to launch CBDCs, there's going to be an increased competition. No, no competition. Governments don't like competition. If they're saying this is the money to use, you'll have to. One way or the other, or they'll roll the tanks into the streets. We know how things actually go. Yes, for the US, with their First Amendment, it's going to be cool. But not every country has that, right? But every country is going for, or almost every country is going for the CBDC. So you can understand what's happening. If you do look at this, you're watching the Bitcoin dominance slowing down. We talked about this even in the yesterday's video, saying a possible head and shoulder coming in. That is going to be super bullish for the altcoin market. Now, what are we really talking about? Dollar is still there at the resistance. It didn't break higher. But it is showing us there is an increased level of possibility it can 
it is going to get rejected. Which for me is like, okay, if dollar is going down and already you have all the hype and push to the upside, hmm, that's bullish. Now on a daily, you would actually argue the fact that, okay, we had all these levels of resistance. Now we broke above that. We are retesting this. We're going to bounce off and that's going to be great. Perfect. Perfect. But what are we still watching on a weekly? What are we still watching on a monthly? These are key points. I would say you should not miss this. If you do, that's going to be an increased level of questions which you'll have to answer to yourself in the next two or three months where the market would be way, way higher than where it is right now. One of the primary reasons I say this is remember when I said Ether is going to do something, my reasoning was clear. On a weekly, it was super, super close to that pop. And I was saying that somewhat like here, we didn't start that pop back then, right? You are watching something similar on the monthly chart for Bitcoin. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's, that's, that's interesting. You're going to watch Bitcoin go up to 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That kind of a move is coming into the market. While that happens, a lot of people I see asking, why are you not talking a lot about XRP? You've been focusing on Bitcoin. Now you're focusing on Ether. Yeah, guys, watch this. If you do understand this, this breakout gives you a lot of opinion. What? Come on here. Look at Bitcoin dominance. It's slowing down. What does that mean? That means money is moving into the altcoins. Now, this is a comparison for the Ether, the candlesticks is Ether, and the line, which is the orange line here, is the altcoin market excluding Ether. Do you see the correlation here? Back in 2017, all the way in 2021, right now. It's not different. If you get this right, you can ride this wave to the upside. Ether is going to go higher. I'm not saying it's going to go 10, 20, 30, 40 X. I'm not that crazy. But as it goes up 3 X, 6 X, 5 X, whatever it's going to do, you will watch the altcoin market going up. This is excluding Ether. So you need XRP to move up. You need Cardano to move up. You need these other large cap assets to move higher. So now you jump on. Look at the Cardano, another large cap asset here. Is it reflecting here? Is the price making a bottom and moving up? Remember, I think it was yesterday or day before yesterday, I talked about this kind of a scenario. A bullish engulfing candle usually shows you what? That you are reversing, you want to go back up. Now you're watching that the price is also doing something same. The argument which I made still exists for you to learn. What is that? You made higher low. But the RSI was showing you a lower low. A lot of, don't get this the other way around. Don't think there is a lot of sellers entering, now we are about to drop. No, no, no. This is not how it works. A lot of sellers already came, but the price didn't drop. Bulls are strong. Keep that simple. Keep that simple. Now you're seeing a bounce back to the upside. Now, why does that matter a lot? Because when you go back on a weekly, you're just going back into the overbought territory on the weekly. Go back in history, look at what we have done when we did that. Oh, good Lord, that's something to write, right? So it's not just this asset. You have a lot of different assets in the market which is showing you that. And XRP is one of that, guys. And especially when you see that you do have these kind of things happening in the market. Now, I'm searching for XRP. Yeah, this one. The EDFs last time was not there. We were getting screwed. No exchanges, all the lawsuits, everything rubbish against XRP. This time around, no. You have ETFs coming in. You have all the exchanges listing that asset. So expect what you want to expect. But I know what I'm looking at. If this market is showing me something important, that's bulls are not giving up. Whoever is manipulating this asset, Know that we are not going to give up. 
majority of us. I know a lot of people who already gave up. But that means majority loses. The minority, the strong hand, the diamond hands, they make it. Now, if you do look at this on a daily chart, this is what you're watching. You got something similar to that of Cardano. Bullish engulfing candle. Great. That's a literal reversal signal. And now your MACD is about to cross to the upside. It hasn't crossed to the upside yet. It's not yet in the positive territory. So the bullishness is not yet here. It's just the starting point. And that's where you look at this bull flag on a daily chart and say, whoa, I'm fine. Let it break higher. Let it run higher. So if you are looking at XRP on a macro chart, that's where you get the understanding. Look on a weekly, look on a monthly. Ask the question like, how high can you really go? That is something a lot of people are trying to answer. Yes, for sure. No one knows. It's about how accurate you have been. It's about how you are doing the analysis. What is your logic? Does it have a lot of facts with you? All this makes a lot of sense. Now we go on a monthly chart. We're still here. We're still here. We haven't actually broken to that high levels of RSI. The strength needs to be above 60 so that we are super bullish on the monthly. So on a weekly, you want this to reach 65 and above. That's where you will see that move on a monthly. So as of now, you're looking at the payment assets and you're like, okay, this is not bad. They are starting to bounce back up. We are getting all these bullish signals from the MACD, from the RSI, from the price action. We are going to watch them ride higher. But in the meanwhile, it's super, super important to keep your focus on Bitcoin while you invest in altcoins. Because if not, this guy will bring all the other altcoins to the downside if you don't keep your eyes on it. We went through that phase last time, right? We don't want to go through that again. So if you are learning from your mistakes, now you're focusing on different assets. Now you're looking at, okay, that broke higher. If there is a retest, there's going to be a lot of people jumping in. You want to look at the RSI, you want to look at the MACD, you want to look at the price action itself to see whether the price is showing you I'm about to pump. So the four hour shows you I'm in the overbought territory. Mm, that's cool. All these times when you reach the overbought territory, even if the RSI is going down, the price is going up. Keep that in mind. And then you go back and look at what was the reason. Because the daily was still inside the overbought territory. That's what I'm saying. Now your higher time frame structure, which is the weekly, is in the overbought territory. Historically speaking, you go back three year, five year, ten year, whatever you want to go. And each and every time you see this, don't neglect this, guys. This opportunity is not going to come anytime soon. Maybe not in crypto. You may have to think about this a lot of times. But make sure you do take advantage of this big move in the market. Once it enters the overbought territory, this is what you're going to watch. This is what you're going to watch. This is what you're going to watch. You don't want to mess this out. Yes, if you are an emotional guy and you are looking at a short-term chart, ah, it's going to play with your mindset. It's going to literally kill your attitude. There will be a lot of volatility in between. Whales? Financial institutions want to make money. They'll say, guys, watch. You cannot make money here. Come to us. Pay us this in fee. They will take two person, one person, whatever. And then the spread would be really bad. Think about it really hard. So the manipulation is going to be super high unless you are well-educated about these opportunities in the market. And that's why I say this. Look at Maker. This has been posted a little while back. but Right now, you go look at the price, where the price is. I think it's about 2,000. It's already up 100%. Look at the price structure. Did we follow similar structure? Think. This has been posted months back. So now when you're looking at all these assets, you understand, okay, we have been discussing about this. We have been going through about. We follow things up. The recent drop, we talked it through before it dropped. Saying, watch, it's going to come down here. Now it came a little bit down for sure. And then it bounced back up. So I followed up so that you guys are not missing. And when it reached there, I gave this. Hmm, 
it's almost complete. The dust is about to get settled. You are about to slowly bounce back up. Now, where the hell are we? And these are the key points you need to look at. If the market is giving you some signs, use it for your advantage. So guys, if you want to join the SI family to take benefit of this, just like the 940 plus members, jump on. This is the Patreon link. It's in the description below in YouTube or in the bio in Twitter. So guys, if you haven't smashed that like button yet, I would request, please consider doing that. I'm watching a lot of you smashing that for me and I'm really, really thankful for you. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.